Welcome back to My Hero Academia Anime Review, Episode 45. Yes, finally, first time in a month, we finally have a brand new episode of My Hero Academia. I'm like, it's about freaking time. Yep, this is our like, newest dub episode, because here's the thing. In Japan, the season's over. Yeah, it actually, I believe it aired the final episode last week, I believe it did. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, and the 268 of the Excuse me. Yeah, I am so happy. Finally, we got a brand new depth episode. I mean, as far as I know, there's only about four more episodes left to be dubbed, and this season is done. Hopefully, this... Now, here's kind of the thing when it comes to before talking about the actual episode itself. And I'm thinking, how could they possibly dub this episode, especially when we have the same whole stay-at-home order stuff? Well, they recorded this stuff all at home. Yep, they did. Yeah, they recorded this stuff all at home via remote. It's explained on Twitter. Take a look at the Foundation posting. It's actually really cool. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably post it in the uh, comments. I'll probably post it in the description below to the actual blog post that they made mm -hmm. regarding to this series. Well, let's just say it's. Uh, I might do that. It it probably yeah. You have to look up the Foundation website. I just find via blog. I probably. Post it, yeah, yeah. I post in the com. I post in the description below of basically of how they accomplish this. It's quite interesting. Basically, the whole video was hosted by Colleen Click and Beer, which by the way, her character is actually in this episode. Yep, and I'm so happy that this dub is finally back after like a month. I tell my friend Tivia about it. He, he's like, oh yeah, he's so happy the fact the dub has returned. Yep. Now for the episode itself. The episode, surprisingly, now, in case you wonder, is there any changes to the manga, manga to episode? The answer is not really. They do cut out, like, I think they did do the first page of this, of 175, for last week's episode. But otherwise, though, mostly put, it's it's pretty much the same. There's not much anime original stuff for this episode, from what I can tell. <laughs> This episode adapts from chapters 175 to 177. Yep. Yeah, pretty much getting up to where I was basically doing my reviews at when I, when I started reviewing the series about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yep, I probably get up to that point. This episode is this. Okay, so you have the characters, basically class 1A, some of them is, practicing each other dance routine. Everything's going fine, of course, it was like all set for tomorrow. At 9 o'clock strikes, the guard, guard hound comes in, tells them to go, and they leave. They're all like so psyched, basically, they, they can't wait for it. There is a flashback shown of basically, of Ear Jack, basically, how she got her nose organized. She got idea from from, from Deku. Yeah, showing the flashback. And then, of course, Deku realized, though, because his job is simply use Ariyama, basically, as a disco ball. And he realizes the rope basically is very fragile. So he's like, I gotta go get you a good new one. Like, okay, that's fine. He wants to be safe. Yes, he wants him to be safe. He does not want the rope to break at all. Remember, because he does not want to hurt his friend. So, so he, he wants to go buy replacement rope. But before he went shopping, he had to do some training with All Might. Tra practicing his little flicker thing. And then... He made the the support woman comes by with deck uh, with, with gloves that she was like deck of Pacific glasses to make, and she tests. He, of course, he wanted to test them right away, and of course she, of course, he, oh, oh, you're 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 met. You're a mess. Like no words during grime. As I say, I'm gonna give a 36 hour nap. <laughs> yep, and of course, oh my, they actually, oh wait, they actually do add one small little line here where because in the manga he just somehow just has. The one of the gloves in his hand, him and Kampa about it. They actually added a line here, like one small line. We ask her, like, can I look at that? Sure. And he's like, huh? They make, they make it smaller, and of course, they do a flashback of when he basically tried to get support here for his quirk. It's like, huh? They make it smaller now. Interesting. And of course, it's like, let's try this right away. Yep. And it turns out, basically, there's also a timer on this episode. Yeah. Like, first is 6.30, then it's like 7.50. Like, I gotta get back. So, 
He basically went to several stores, couldn't find the rope, and then he did find the rope. And then just by sheer coincidence, the same thing happened to Mongo as well. He just happens to come across Jensen Criminal and La Brabra coming out of a cafe. Yep, just by sheer coincidence. And, of course, he mentioned going to East Imperial. He commented on that he has parents got a good taste in tea. And he's like, I've heard that voice before. I'm surprised he didn't say, you're a gentle criminal. And he says, yes, I am. <laughs> yep. And he just takes out his mask. Like, basically talks to La Brava. Of course, he's like, La Brava, shot for me. Got it. <laughs> yeah. My destiny plan to invade UA because I want to. Yep. That's the reason why. I guess he felt like it. And, of course, he doesn't want him to basically stop. So, he basically tries to launch at him. And he gets blocked by the elastic. There's actually a little more here, basically, show the manga. So, yeah, he bounces right off, and then he's like in the air. He's like he hops in the air. He's like, hop, hop. Yeah, nothing can stop me now. And then Deku shoots energy blast, <laughs> air blast at his back. He's like, wow, he can shoot air of his fingers. That's interesting. And after a while, basically, now toward the end of the episode, they, of course, LeBron was like, he, I'm recognizing him someplace. Like, and he's shooting, and the short name's like, I remember him now. His name is. His name is Midoriya. He broke his... He, some of the UAFs... Well, they, they do change the line here where he says he broke his hands. He actually broke his fingers. I think that... I get the reason why they changed that. Because I think in the part of his media, that was actually a, a error on their part. Because if you watch the original thing, he didn't break his hands. He broke his fingers. Yep. Like, man, he's like so mad. And then somehow the launch is right at him. And of course, they land right in a construction... In a construction yard. And Gross Barber tells an old man, it's like, don't worry. Uh, please tell your friends, basically, that we're filming here. and Don't interrupt us. Like, sure. Like, I feel basically by some time. And, of course, Deku basically looks him around. And then he basically, like, because whenever he touches anything, of course, it turns to look elastic. And over time, basically, turns back normal. And he's able to basically... Like, he's, he was going to drop the steel beam on the old man. But, like, a deck who stops the beam instead. And, like, Mark, huh, he's fast. And then, by the end of the episode, she's like, he's just like you. He's like you, gentle. He won't give up. And it's like, time to use my quirk. And that's where the episode ends. I got to hand it to the episode. They actually did a pretty good job adapting these three chapters. I would say, with the exception of some minor line changes, mostly put, it's pretty much the same as predicted in the manga. It's a great episode. Definitely looking forward to next episode, which is called Ghouls of All Star. Yeah, that's the next episode. Hopefully, it's going to air next week. Yep. Now, we move on to the new chapter of the manga, which is called Scramble. The chapter starts off with Endeavor and Crust basically battling Nemu in a hospital. With a razor head. Yep. And then President Mike uses his uh, screen ability on, on this female Nemu. Yep. And a lot of the time this whole chat is simply the heroes versus a bunch of Nemu. Miro, the, the rabbit hero, basically, hot, basically, of course, she's like injured. She got a part of her face burned and her arm ripped off. And she's basically finding what, what was actually in the tank. And it's Todoroki. It can't be released into the world, no matter what else. And the Dr. Robotnik ripoff, this is, um, I don't remember this guy's name. Yeah, he's a Dr. Robotnik ripoff. He's, he's like, stop that. And she smashes it. And, she's, and then things says voice, shield, laser, saber. It's like that one. He didn't, like, even though he says he, it clearly is a female in that move because it's got breasts. Hiding his eyes. It's like a laser beam. And his liquidation. And of course, Endeavor basically finds Meryl, and she launches it to the machine. And the, the doctor's like, "Oh no, 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 not my stuff!" Crap. And then of course, Endeavor basically, of course, she's launched right into Endeavor. Like, no, Meryl, finish him off. Soroki's in there. Though far it's too. We can't let Soroki wake up. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah, this chapter was really, really quick. Like, oh my gosh, it was like really quick. Like, bam, bam, bam. 
let's say a bunch of basically here's by a bunch of new most of the chapter and Miracle basically finding out that Sodoroki's in the tank and he can't wake up. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm gonna give the chapter roughly a nine out of ten. It does advance the arc up a little bit, not by much. Mm-hmm. And I'm definitely looking forward to the next chapter that comes out. Okay. So yeah, that's it for Sick of You. My next review is gonna be on the newest chapter of Demon Slayer. And this one's gonna be interesting, okay? To this next video. Bye.